Sangi that, you know, whenever something happens, and as a young person of, of, of the world today, as a young, as the youth of India, um, I have the ability to have a voice. I can stand in front of you and I can speak to you and I can say things that matter to me, I can have an opinion. Um, when I have the press standing in front of me, who I know, whatever I say, if they want to write about it, they will. But not each one of us gets that opportunity. This survey, and it's called My World for a Reason, because the world is ours, right? We have to live here. It's our children, it's our future. It is what you sow, so shall you reap. So it's our world. For the first time, each and every one of us has a voice. Each and every one of us can say something. We always say that when something happens, you know, uh, what is the government doing and, and uh, what, are, what are people doing and what is Bollywood doing? Um, that is one big question. But, but mostly, we always ask these questions that we can do. What can I do? I am someone living in Bandra or Mulund or Malad or Dharavi. What can I do? What is in my hand? It is the... It's the bigger people, it's the people in government who takes decisions, infrastructure ka hum kya kare, what about unemployment, what about education, what about job opportunity. Like Louis George said, that today there are that many people, almost half a billion people in our country who are below 18. There are, we are one of the youngest nations in the world. Do you know what that means for the future? What that means for our future as a developing nation or as a world leader? how much we can do and what our potential is. As young people, you sit down in your colleges, in your schools, and you think about what your future will be. I want to be a doctor, I want to go into hotel management, I want to study at Harvard, I want to you know, go to IIT, whatever. Whatever your future goals are, we are in a place in the world right now where the world is your oyster. You can do anything you want to do if you feel you have a voice. And this gives you an opportunity, it gives you a weapon in your hand to say, you know what? This is something that I want from my world. And you know that the UN is going to take your message, which will come out of this survey, to global leaders all around the world. And that is why this is such an important initiative. That is why it, is, it makes such a big difference. Whether it goes from children to adults to anybody in, anybody in any strata can take this survey and your voice will be heard, your collective voice. This is the answer to hum kya kar sakte hain. We don't have any opportunity, we don't have a little power, we don't have a little power. We told each person, each person, and it's so simple, we all have a cell phone. I think we are one of the only nations in the world where we have a cell phone with our vegetables. So, we all have cell phones. That's all it takes. It'll take five minutes of your time. It's not asking for too much, but it's your collective voice. It's the collective voice of the youth of this nation, which will go out there and say that, you know what, this is what I want for my country. I want safety, I want infrastructure, I want education, I want employment, I want anything, I want better roads. You can say anything that you want and that is the beauty of this survey. It is your dreams, your voice. So go out there, tell your friends, tell people, tell you know, people who work with you, work for you, who you talk to, to take five minutes out of their lives and make a difference to our country because it matters to us. It is our future. We are the youngest country in the world. We have the potential of being the biggest and the best. So let's do that. It's in our hands. Let's take that chance. And which is why for me, this campaign is so important because I really think as UNICEF Goodwill Brand Ambassador, I feel that this survey gives a voice to every single person. I stand for adolescent girls all the time. I talk about education of the girl child in the country. I talk about poverty. We all talk about eradicating poverty. God knows when that will happen. But at least we are taking huge steps to get there. We live in this nation. We know we have to face it. We have to see it. We see beggars in the street. We see people that surround us all, all the time who are faced with extreme poverty. We are fortunate today, you know, that we go to a college like this or we have the lives that we do. But there are so many people who don't have that. This is a voice even for them. What are their problems? What are their problems? What are their problems? So it goes from every strata. And that is what the beauty of this survey is. So the only thing that all of us sitting here can do is inspire people to do it. It doesn't take that much of your time. It is not difficult. It's easy. It's 16 questions. There are multiple choice. Just go out there and do it and make people around you do it. That is all we are here to say. And I would just like to say it's very, very easy to talk about, you know what, we want this kind of a world. We can make the world a better place. We really, really can.
and this is the way to do it. So thank you so much for listening to me.